Rebecca Long Bailey was sacked by Sir Keir Starmer in a move branded reckless by Momentum Chief John Landsman who warned the Labour leader has now made it difficult for himself to build trust in his party. John Landsman, the founder of the pro-Jeremy Corbyn group Momentum, said Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer needs to build trust with the left of the party after he sacked Rebecca Long Bailey. Speaking to BBC Radio 4's Today programme, he said divided parties do not win elections adding that he still has every confidence that Sir Keir can maintain party unity, but it will be much harder now. He added, Keir wanted to include the other candidates from the leadership election, which was quite right, but what he's now done is sack the leading left opponent in that election. And in order to unite the party he's got to build trust, across the party, trust from the left. That's one of the ingredients necessary if you are going to reunite the party and from what he's done he's made it much harder for himself. But Marie van der Zyl, president of the Board of Deputies of British Jews, welcomed Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer's sacking of Rebecca Long Bailey. Also speaking to BBC Radio 4's Today programme, she said, I think it's an awful situation and Rebecca Long Bailey's response was pathetic. As someone who aspired to be an education secretary she would be expected to read and understand materials, and that doesn't make Maxine Peake's position acceptable or not, she should be fully aware as well of what she was saying. She added, Keir Starmer has made a very good start, we said, on tackling anti-Semitism in the party. We had a meeting with him only last Friday and we have made it clear that we judge what he does, what his actions are. And in this case, he's absolutely acted decisively and has taken very swift action and it's very reassuring to the Jewish community. Ms. Long Bailey, who was branded the continuity Corbyn candidate in the recent leadership battle, was sacked after she shared an article on social media which Sir Keir claimed expressed an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory.